this is Eric and uh, so for what passes on a sunny day in uh, the beautiful Pac Norwest I've got my solar panel set up uh, facing towards the Sun and I'm going to show you guys uh, how it's set up some of you asked about the solar controller uh, in my videos so let's see jump up here it's what we've got it is mounted right back here uh, I think you can see here we're at a 12.8 volts and we're charging the battery that's how that's working and it comes down We've got this pigtail, it's about a 25 foot, maybe a little bit less, uh, pigtail. And that runs down here. Okay, to the back of the solar generator. There's Starbucks, she's eating something on the ground that's kind of gross. See down here we are on. Show our powers on. There's our uh, our inverter. One of the other things that I bought to keep it uh, to keep it charged uh, and in standby is this nice uh, battery tender 1.25. That's what that's what they recommended. And currently, hey look, we're plugged in. And we are watching TV on that old, uh, that old cathode ray tube uh, Magnavox TV. So it's uh, powering it. Doesn't even seem to be drawing a whole lot. Uh, fans aren't running. I did hook up uh, down here. If you see now, one of the other YouTube videos said to hook up a. A small capacitor between the uh, the negative and then the chassis ground if you weren't running it and that's supposed to help uh, with longevity of the cooling fans there in the back but they haven't even uh, they haven't even kicked on yet all right so there it's like uh, we're watching watching TV on our and we're charging the battery with our solar panel sitting up here on top of the truck and that's how it works watching TV on our solar generator